you know, what's your decision making progress uh, on, on whether you're going to stay here or not? What are you going to do? Um, I haven't come to a decision yet. Um, I still got time to play with just because spring ball is pretty much over. I still got three weeks into the semester. So uh, I don't know where I'm at. I'm going to sit down with my family and go over things that we want to do. So What's your timeline? It's no timeline. I tell everybody, it's no timeline. Um, whether I wanted to do it tomorrow or two weeks from now, I don't know. As I understood, you had to go to school this semester yeah. anyway if you wanted to retain your third year. Yeah, according to the, the LOI, you have to be yeah. here for a year. So, uh, I mean, I'm obviously done with the year now. Um, in the spring, I appreciated it. So. It was cool for me. I enjoyed the spring. You got a percentage chance you're going to stay here? No percentage. <laughs> There's no percentage. I got to ask what fans would ask. So, uh, <laughs> Rob, anyway, what was what was better about this camp? Anything in particular you were talking about that when I walked up? This uh, spring? Yeah. Um, you said this some my things were better than, than they were before. I thought you said that. No, no I was talking about um, this being my first spring and how I would have been better if I, oh, I came okay. last spring. Okay. So, uh, you know, this spring I got, I got a chance to sit down with Jay and go over defenses for the whole year, look at film and see what we wanted to do with the ball exactly instead of just last year coming in in the summer and having to uh, just pick it up as I go, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Talk about the transfer rumors. Can you talk about the reasons you maybe you would get out of here? I mean, there's a lot of speculation. What, what why were you, what would you think about getting out? Um, it's a variety of reasons. Um, obviously, I go with the positive first. I love it here, just to say that. Um, there's nothing wrong with anything outside of football. The students are great. The campus is great. I love it all. But um, obviously, there's some things that I feel like should be different. And um, so I had to I talk with my fam and uh, see where I'm at. It was kind of a strange situation last year in that we all had to talk to your dad because yeah. that's all we could do, mm -hmm. and you were muted. Yeah, I couldn't um, do anything. How much, and this is another question that fans would ask if they could, and that's the only reason I'm asking. Mm -hmm. How much of all that was you? How much was your dad? Because a lot of people will say, well, his dad was pushing him around. No, my dad didn't make, I make my own decisions, just to say that. Um, me and my dad obviously talk, and I appreciate his input, so I'm going to listen to him. And um, everything that you heard from my dad, it was from me too. He was okay. on the same page with everything. That's kind of what I was getting at. Yeah. All right. Were you as upset as he was? I mean, he was, he was pretty little. And my dad, he, he a fiery dude. He will get at you. He, he he's not, like not a guy I would want to mess around with. Yeah, he's with. a tough guy. But um, obviously, he's not going to be pushed over. He's, he's about his business. So. Was it frustrating for you not being able to talk? Because everything that came out was kind of through these channels. Yeah. Um, sometimes I wanted to talk, and sometimes I saw him phone ringing like an hour straight, and I ain't want to deal with that. So. <laughs> me, me, Sean, Sean, me, Sean, me, Sean. Hey, Rob, most guys, most fans, and, and even I think media guys, think that if you stick around, you're going to be the star. So then, you don't think, you don't think that way? I feel like I got a great shot here. Um, like I said, during the spring, we split up the reps and everything, me and Matt. And I feel like it's up for grabs, and I'm ready to take it, obviously. But it's some things I got to talk about with me and my family, like I said, and we'll see where I'm at that day in the spring. Rob, one question back here. Um, are you going to give up your gig hosting Yo Gabba Gabba? Ah, Yo Gabba Gabba. DJ Lance. Nah, I'm not going to do that, man. I'm going to stick with it. 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 Rob, when you say you know things need to be different beyond you know, your mind, when you talk about playing time, opportunities, coaching, what would it specifically be? Um, a little more coaching. Um, on all, all those aspects, I feel like I should have played a little more, obviously. Um, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that I can say, you know what I mean? But, I don't know how to answer that question. Really. I mean, do you see those things changing now in the spring, or is it still the same? Well, the spring, it got better during the spring. Um, I felt like I should have had a little more coaching, and Jay, he did that. Um, I told him, like, when I made a mistake, he was on me. I wanted somebody to get up under me, you know what I mean? So, uh, what do you mean by that? If I make a mistake, I just didn't want, like, oh, you made a mistake, get it next time, you know what I mean? Jay, he got up under me. 
he uh, made sure that I wasn't making mistakes twice. So I was good to go for the next place. What, what do you mean exactly by get up under me? I want to, I want that defined. He coached me. Coached okay. me. Really okay. coached me. Okay. Really coached me. Okay. And do you think they were hesitant maybe because you were young that Jay didn't want to... Yeah, that, I, it could have been like that, something like that. Um, I don't really know. Because I was young, you know, I didn't have everything up top, obviously, to do everything and be spectacular. But I feel like he did a good job when I first came in. But now I really, he can't get up under me now, I know. Was your head spinning at all in that situation? It's, it's a very unprecedented situation for a, a kid in your situation to get the job based purely on merit. I mean, every other situation, I've been around here a long time. Tony Saka comes to mind, and then he got forced in in 1988 simply because everyone else got hurt. Right. For you, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Where was your head in, in September? I was ready to go. I was on a mission when I first got here. I was ready to compete and do everything. Um, obviously, it, I did it well enough to start the, start the uh, season off. And... Um, I feel like I handled it well. My hand was your poise was very good. I yeah, was I like it was stunned. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you I didn't always do the right thing. But your poise was yeah, there. Yeah. It looked like it was there. Yeah. You threw balls away when you, you should have thrown them away. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Yeah. I, uh, I really didn't get rattled. I kept my head on. I stayed focused and really did what I had to do. So after Minnesota, what did you anticipate would happen after you got help? Um, after my injury. Uh, I was ready to go. I wanted to get on the field as soon as possible. But, um, Doc, you told me I had to sit out. I think it was... The next game, yeah. Yeah, that next game, so I didn't play at all. And um, after that, I was expecting to be right in the lineup. But, um, me and, and, and why? Just for uh, the record. I mean, I know why, but I want you to say why. I don't feel that anybody should lose a job because of any injury. injury. Right. So, uh... I was expecting to be right in there. Okay. I feel like any quarterback would want to be back in that delay the same. So. And then when you weren't, then when you weren't. When I wasn't out there, I, I kept my poise and stayed where I was at. I uh, didn't get down or anything. I kept competing and doing everything. As, we, as, do. as I read it and some other people read it, some sort of threshold arrived at, Indi at the Indiana game in Washington, D.C. Is that true? When you just you didn't get any PT even in India against Indiana mm -hmm. where you could have. Yeah. Um, not yeah. true, true or not? Uh, I don't think it was true. I expected to play just a little, even if that. Um, I feel like I got in at like the end of the game. Yeah, it was mop up time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like I should play. Obviously, I didn't, but that's over with. So yeah. And then in the bowl. Yeah, the bowl game too. Yeah, we've all had to assume things, and we didn't know if this was true. Yeah, it was. Uh, the it was bowl tough. was the breaking point. I wouldn't say it was a breaking point. Um, every game, we just yeah. built on top of the next. Okay. So, you know, I didn't play at all. So how, I was how much more? Feeling. How much more talking do you need to do before you make a decision on what's going on? I mean, are we gonna know in a week? Like I said, there's no timeline. I'm a, however long it takes for me and my family to come to a decision, that's going to be it. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be, or I couldn't tell you guys. So I don't know myself. Is your dad here? Uh, I think he may be running around here. I don't even know. I you watch here out in the Yeah, I've seen him a little bit okay. in the stands. Do you, do you expect to be here for the start of preseason practice? I don't know. Rob, you, talk, you, you talked about getting a fair shot in the spring. Do you think you got that fair shot? I mean, did Penn State give that to you this spring? Yeah, they did. Um, like I said, we was going through reps, splitting the reps equally with ones and twos. Um, we competed, and I feel like I do have a fair shot.